Welcome back, it's your art friend Kika. Today we're gonna be drawing blueberries. Grab your Procreate app. I'm using a screen size canvas and today's brush will be using its in calligraphy folder. It's called Blotchy. It is a very interesting kind of watercolory type of brush. And I thought blueberries would be fun to draw in order to use this brush. Okay, so to start off this brush, Blotchy, put on max opacity, max size, just so you can get a feel for it. It does have a bit of a palette pattern in the back as you just go across your screen. Each time you go over a certain layer, a certain spot, it does get darker and darker, which is great for drawing blueberries and different things. If we're adding shadow, say we have our circle and the intensity of each color that layers on top is too quick, what we can do is draw a circle or a blueberry but lower the opacity to about 40-50% and now the color layers up much slower so you have more control. When your brush size is about 10 or 13, the brush is very fine, pressed lightly, you can add more details. So now that we know a little bit about our brush, let's get started. To start off, I'm just going to use a 6B pencil in the sketching folder to map out my blueberries. So I have a good idea of where I want these blueberries to be. I'm going to draw very large, oversized blueberries, just a few around my page. So there you go, there's my one circle. You can use quick shapes to have perfect circles, but again, blueberries aren't perfect. So if your circle's a little wonky, that's great. For the top part, it's usually a circular form as well. And then it has like blueberry skin is the best way I could describe it. That's 3D-ish. And to make it simple, I'm just going to draw these half circle curves around like so. So on the inside, it'll be a little bit lighter. This skin, blueberry skin will be darker and then my blueberry. Okay. Uh, let's do another one really big right here. It's going to be a little bit off the page and that's okay. Another circle for that top. Actually, I'm going to do that a little bit bigger. Like so. It's a little ovally. That's okay. And those half circles, almost as if we're drawing a crown. And if it's wonky and not exactly the same, even better. Maybe a third one here. There we go. So I have three blueberries. I'm going to leave it at that just for to keep our video on the short side. But if you want, you can fill your page. You can have 10. You can do three as well. There's no hard rules. So now that we have our sketch, I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to drop down this opacity to about 30, 40. Grab that brush Bolachi that's in the calligraphy. And now I need to find a blue that I would like to use. Bring up the opacity, bring up my brush. I think I like this blue. So the blue that I'm using, it's on the edge of the light blue and the dark blue and it's in the top right corner. So to begin, I'm gonna first follow my sketch and I'm not picking up my pencil. Cause I don't want the color to start layering just yet. It has a nice texture. This blotchy brush almost looks watercolory. It's great. If you're missing, like now that I colored, I can't see my sketch. I'm going to bring it to the top, change the blend mode to multiply. I like to do that sometimes. And then you can increase your opacity so you can still see it. So that's just preference. Going back to my layer. I'm going to trace this circle and take your time with this. Okay. 
And as you can see, over here I went past past my sketch, which is totally fine. And one last one. So I got my first layer down. Now what I'm going to do is focus in on my smaller circles and the skin of the blueberry. One thing I should tell you is adding lighter colors to, for example, if we decided to use white on top of our existing color, it doesn't show up at all. You can kind of see it just a little bit tad there. If I change the background color to like a gray, then you'd be able to see it kind of in the background. But if you're keeping your background color light, you will not be able to see it. So that's just a word of caution. We'll be adding highlights or shadows, but not highlights in a sense. Okay, so where am I? I'm here. Grab my blue. Just gonna color drop that blue. Got the right brush and I'm on the same layer. Perfect. So I'm just gonna zoom in and bring down the brush size to about 10. And I wanna draw a circle for that ridge. It's usually darker there. And on the inside, of the skin of the blueberry, it's also darker. Oops. Okay, I'm just bring I'm just bringing down the opacity, turning off my layer, seeing how it looks. It's looking great. And if you pick up your brush and place it back down, that's okay. Some spots will be a little bit darker, some spots will be a little bit lighter, and that works. I'm going to turn off my sketch layer just so I can see where I've outlined it. So now that I can color that in. And since I'm picking up my brush and putting it back down, some spots are darker, some spots are lighter, and it works. It's, it looks great. The inside, though, I do want it to be a little bit lighter, so I'm just going to grab... Uh, a lighter blue, not white, just a little bit lighter blue. And go over that. It still gets a little bit deeper, but... There we go. We got our first blueberry. Grabbing that same color I had before, I'm going to increase my brush size, decrease my opacity, let's go 50%. I'm going to turn on Alpha Lock, where did it go? Right here. Turn on Alpha Lock, and now I'm going to add layers for shading. Just to get the edge, increase my opacity to 100 and just get that edge, so it's darker. Bring down the opacity. Now that I got my edge, I'm gonna turn off my alpha lock. And we can also deepen the blue a little bit or even bring it into the purple sides a bit more. Because blueberries sometimes almost look pur purplish because they're so dark. Brush size 100%. And I'm just slowly adding more and more shading. Picking up my brush every once in a while just to start layering in that darker shadow. And then just in a few of these spots, I'm going to layer it up a bit because it's a little too light there. I might change the color of my blue so now it looks a little purplish. And I'm going to zoom in, turn this around just to have more control. 
And I'm picking down- I'm picking up and putting down my pencil to get a darker and darker layer of shading. To be more precise, I brought down the size of my brush. Voila, we got our first one. If that is too streaky looking for you, what you can do is tap on, tap and hold the smudge tool so that you're also using blotchy for the smudging. Increase your brush size. You can have opacity at 100% and just ever so slightly pick up and put down your brush to blend a little bit. Blend out those hard edges. You can blend out a color, even just a section. This is just preference. Some people like the hard edges, some people don't. This would be also great for watercolor. There you have it. We got our first watercolory looking blueberry. And you can keep smudging and layering with more color and smudging until you're happy with your blueberry. Voila, we have our first blueberry. Let's continue. Turning back my sketching layer. Now just for practice on this on this uh, blueberry, I'm going to create a new layer. Grab my brush, grab my blue. I think that's my first blue that I used. When you go over it, oh, opacity 100%. When you go over it, it's creating a new layer. So it's making it more opaque without interfering with the layer below. So it didn't get deeper or darker. But now if I put a second layer on, it will. Also another trick to consider. If you need something to be a little bit more opaque, you might just add a new layer. It won't get darker. But you'll get more color. So maybe if you're painting waves or anything like that. You bring down my opacity to about 40%. Because I'm going to start layering now. And I want it to be gradual. Maybe 50% would be a little bit easier or quicker. Zooming in. Bringing down the brush size, upping my opacity. Just so that it's more precise. More detail. Increasing the brush size. Voila. Now to get that inner circle, I'm going to bring down the opacity a bit. And this is where we could add a new layer to keep it one color. And because I didn't actually cover over it, I don't need a new layer. You might need one though. So just in case, let's create a new layer. We have our blue. And we're just coloring it over here once to make it more opaque. As you can see. Bringing down my opacity, increasing my opacity, in decreasing my brush, I have to say, sorry. And now I'm going to go over the circle a few times to make it dark and clear. And that is the edge. Now I'm going to draw out my half circles. Turn off my sketch layer so I can see all that. Zooming out. Beautiful. And now if I go back to that layer here, I can grab the smudging tool with blotchy as a brush and just ever so slightly smooth out the edges by smudging from the dark to the light. 
And there you go. We got two blueberries. One last one to go. Turning on my sketch layer again. I'm going to go back to the original layer and do what I did here. But whichever one you like better, whichever style you like better, you can add new layers to keep the color opaque and have more control. So I got my first layer. I will now... Where's my blotchy brush? There we go. Color in the circle. I do want this area to be darker, so every once in a while I am picking up my brush. My pencil, I should say. To get that intensity of layer color building. Now that that's done, I'm going to add a shadow down here. So increasing my brush size to 100, decreasing the opacity to 50. And I really enjoyed that I had some purple in there. Let me turn off my sketch layer and just ever so slightly bringing in that darker to so getting those like purple blues a little bit and just adding it in different lighter spots of my blueberry And voila, we got three blueberries using one brush, the blotchy brush. Hope you had fun. You can add a background as well using that brush, maybe making it like actually purple. You can leave the background white. But there we got our watercolor style looking blueberries. Very fun. Keep creating, keep learning, keep growing in your art skills, and I can't wait to see you in the next video.